Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Tech Yo-Yo. My name is T. Today, we're going to be looking at a smashing yo-yo. Yes, another yo-yo from the company that's no longer in operation, but I believe he now goes by OP Yo-Yos. Today, we're going to be looking at the smashing yo-yos Interlagos. This is the signature model of Victor, I believe that's Sicelli. I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it. I apologize if I mispronounce it. I'm not familiar with the player, actually. I don't know much about them, but... This is one of the earlier Smashing Yo-Yos that has come out. You can see here it's in this pretty typical H shape. I believe this is 7075. In the cup you have this little finger spin area that is nearly impossible to catch, but we'll talk about that in a little bit. I like how the engraving is on the outside here instead of anywhere where it can interfere with play. Very, very smooth on the string. You're gonna see here there's a nice step up here that keeps the string way off the response. So that's a really nice little addition there comes in this really nice, bright, very, very, very well saturated blue. I haven't really seen a blue like this. It's really nice. On the rims, it seems to be a little bit lighter. I'm not sure if that's just the material being thinner or, or paint spread out or, or the anodization spread out. I don't know. I've also got strung up with the Notorious Ninja, which works fantastically well. I've found with just about every Smashing Yo-Yo. Yeah, I got this in a trade recently, so it's been really fun to throw this thing around. It's actually turned out to be one of my, the more well-liked smashings in my collection. We'll talk about that in just a moment, but let's go ahead and throw it around and I'll tell you what I think. <clears throat> All right, so the smashing interlago. So the first thing, as I mentioned, it's very, very, very smooth on the string. There's a little, little tiny bit of vibe, but I think it comes from the material. But on the string it plays actually very light. There's no sense of a thud on the string, which as if you watched any of my videos recently, you know is one of my pet peeves. It's got a very nice bind to it as well. The pads that were used in all the smashing yo-yos I think are really, really nice. They all work extremely well with the yo-yos. You can see like things like regens just flow very smoothly. The shape of this yo-yo is really nice for regens, even if they're coming back at you very quickly. I found that they're no problem at all to get your regens done. Because of the kind of smaller place in here, you can finger, you can finger grind. It's not... The best shape, not the most accommodating. There's a lot of friction, but you can definitely do it. And since the yo-yo is really smooth, it does finger grind just fine. It doesn't skip off of your uh, finger or anything like that. Because of the shape, you can get it in between strings very nicely without any problems. It's not really narrow, but I do find myself missing it sometimes on whips and slacks. But as long as you really try to hit it, you're going to be fine. That was lucky. I don't think I've hit all three of those in a long time. Show you a finger spin here. The finger spin area is really difficult to hit. I almost never hit it. There, yeah, I just did and it actually came out. It does not always stick in the area even if you hit it properly. I think I hit it once like in the first video or something and I've never been able to hit it since. And even if I hit it dead on, it usually skips out. So this one like maybe yeah, I, I can't. <laughs> I tried really hard. I practiced before this with this thing to try to get get it hit dead center on the finger spin zone, but I just cannot. It's it's not that it's like particularly small or anything. I think it's just like oh, there we go. So there we hit it. You see, it doesn't really. It centers a little bit, but you really have to be careful. There, I've locked it, but it always kind of like vibrates out if you're not careful. So you really have to make sure you maintain it in that little finger spin zone. So when it does hit, it's gonna take concentration to keep it there, but it does stay if you really put in the work. But yeah, what do I think of the Interlagos? Altogether, I think it's like, it's pretty decent. It's one of those like altogether good yo-yos that does just about everything you need it to do. It's very comfortable. The weight isn't too extreme. So you feel like you can throw it comfortably on a nice lazy weekend. The binds are really nice and consistent. It doesn't really snag. It's not too narrow or too wide, so you're able to do all the tricks you need to do. The response pads work well with just about every string I've used. I haven't had any like snags or anything. As you can see, it binds really comfortably. I guess the only problem would just be that it's really hard to hit that finger spin catch zone. So if you're getting this for finger spins, it's not gonna be the one you wanna play with because it's just, that's really hard to hit. But just about for anything else, you know, it's a, I think it's a really decent yo-yo. It's probably not the most played in my collection right now. It's sort of like reliable, but for this shape, typically if I'm going to play something this shape or this design, 
I'm probably gonna go for either a Borealis 2 or actually more recently the Honey Badger 7068 because I feel like the weight distribution is a little better on that and it kind of has the same shape but it feels like it grinds better and I feel like I like the material just a bit more on the Honey Badger. So that's all we've got for the Interlagos today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave me a like, a comment, a subscription. I'd really appreciate any of those. Take care, have a nice day, and sayonara.